Hagen. So this is question four or set four. We have the BGT load line characteristics. Well, so far the circuit below. Uh, we need to draw the load line characteristics and determine the key end point uh, of the device. Also calculate the value of beta. So if we look at the circuit here, we know that the current uh, IB is 20 micro amperes. So we are going to be mostly interested in what's the uh, what's the intersection the intersection of the load line with the uh, IB curve of 20 micro amperes. So it's basically this curve here, right? And now how do we determine the load line? How do we calculate the load line? So to specify the load line, we need to find first the maximum value of the collector current okay, and the maximum value between collector and emitter. So PCE max. Okay. Now, how do we determine IC max? So for the maximum value of current, we, we know that um, the voltage uh, exactly at the, collect, at the collector uh, should be zero, right? So in this case, we have fully applied VCC across RC, which means that we have 10 volts, right? Divided by 2K ohms, and that's 5 milliamperes, okay? Now, when do we have VCE max? So what's the maximum value of VCE? So we know that the emitter is grounded. So that means that E is zero volts. Uh, and the maximum value of the collector is going to be when the collector current is actually zero amperes, right? Because then the collector current that is flowing right here, it's zero. So there is no uh, voltage drop across RC and then VC right, the potential at this node here is equals to VCC. And in this case, it's the maximum uh, voltage that we can have there. So VCE max is equals to 10 volts, okay? So in this particular plot here, it should be VCE here, right, not VCC. So the first point that we have is for so let's see if I can change the color of this one here. Okay. So we know that we have five milliampere for IC max, right? And we also have 10 volts for VCE max. So it's this one here. Now, if we trace a line that connects those two points, that's the load line. Okay, and now we can find out the KSN point at the point of interception, intersection between the load line and the IB curve that we have, the base current curve. So if we then trace a straight line down here and a straight line at this side here, we can figure out what's the value of the KSN point. So roughly the KSN point Q is equals to 5 volts for VCE and something around 2.4 milliamperes, right? So that's the operating point. That, that's actually the value of IC that it's flowing uh, to through RC, right? And then the potential here that we have between collector and emitter is actually 5 volts okay so now that we know the collector current that is actually flowing through the circuit to the collector and uh, terminal of the bjt we can calculate the gain beta here which is equals to the collector current divided by the base current right so this is 2.4 milliamperes divided by the base current which is 20 microamperes and this gives us 120, okay? So that's it for this problem.